Welcome to the British 10th turn of my Axis and Allies revised solo playthrough. Um, I skipped the German turn, as I said at the end of the Russian turn, because the only German unit left at that time was a sole infantry in the Balkans, which has now been taken out by the British. So there's not a single German unit left on the board, so the Germans are out of uh, the game. Um, what else did the British do? They moved the fleet. Uh, from the Baltic uh, to the coast of France, and they'll move it probably to the Pacific, or better still, through the Mediterranean to India. Um, they flew two bombers from Britain to um, Manchuria, probably. Uh, they did so by using yet another optional rule, which is called Mideast Oil. They flew to I believe it was Persia, which is uh, their full move of six, and landing there in non-combat gives them an extra full move, which allowed them to land in Manchuria. In fact, the one British bomber that was already there bombed Japan and took another five IPCs, or three, well, at least a number of IPCs off of them, and the Japanese have only five IPCs left for their turn, so the best they can do is buy a single tank. Um, the British bought... An aircraft carrier, they landed two fighters on it that were already in India, which is allowed in this version of the game. Uh, they also bought a submarine and a destroyer. Now, obviously, the Japanese can attack them with this fleet, which they probably will, but uh, that will uh, annihilate both of the fleets if they do. Another option would be to move north um, to, to strengthen their fleet there. Um, so we'll see what the Japanese decide to do on their turn, but, uh, well, that's what happened on the British turn, and they now have, uh, 40 IPCs, and they still save three, I believe, so they have 43 for the next turn. Uh, thank you for watching, and see you after the Japanese turn, if you're still up for it.